When I think of the most satisfying sporting moments of my lifetime, I'm talking punch in the air, rub your grandma's face in it because she supports the other team kind of satisfying. Carlos Spencer's incredibly audacious try against the Crusaders at the old Lancaster Park in 2004 is maybe number one for me, for several reasons. But first, let's get into the sheer brilliance of the try itself. In the game's dying moments, the Blues, who are only leading by two points against a Satyrs team chock full of talent, who are desperate to force an error or even a rash decision against the Blues while they're pinned on their own try line, Carlos thinks this is an excellent time for an attack. The Crusaders have pinched in on him, the wingers are deep waiting for the kick, leaving a little bit of space out wide. Maybe New Zealand's most underrated sports broadcaster Tony Johnson speculates Goodness, he's not going to pass it, is he? Yes, Tony. Yes, he is. Carlos throws a long pass out wide that must have only missed hitting the post by the matter of a bee's penis into the hands of one of the most dangerous attacking threats New Zealand rugby has ever seen, a young Joe Rokothoko. Joe, who's never been known for his kicking, neglects the opportunity to kick it long or kick it out and throws some batshit bananas beautiful footwork as he explodes past defenders with electric speed and evasiveness into the open field. He still has a defender in front of him and has the opportunity to put one of the quickest men in the history of the sport, Doug Hallett, away, but doesn't. That would be too easy. He grows the ground and pops it to a charging Justin Collins, who's done exceptionally well to make it there, especially considering it's the 79th minute of what was an intense match. The Crusaders have appeared to scramble well and have several defenders around the man to execute a tackle. Collins fends off a defender, giving himself just enough space to throw a beautiful underhand pass to who else but the human embodiment of a stunning rash decision. The King, Carlos fucking Spencer. With a head full of steam, who bursts onto it like ejaculate from a young man at the end of No Nut November. Marshy knows there's no boomph is happening here, but desperately points to the ground in front of him, hoping that somehow he can summon a defender out of thin air. Tony Johnson points out the obvious in a beautiful way. Spencer! Oh, this is amazing! Yes, Tony, this is amazing. The King knows he's done it. His audacity is being rewarded, and in front of a disgusted Canterbury crowd, there's only one thing to do. It's time to rub it in. Rubbing it in and enjoying the moment is seen as a bit of a dick move in New Zealand sport. But let's put this into context. It's 2004. In Christchurch, he was public enemy number one. He was more hated in the South Island than loud zips on trousers that scared sheep away. After throwing that interceptive pass in 2003, ugh, yeah, it still hurts, and being the main rival for the hometown boy Andrew Murdens, he had been copping more abuse than an altar boy at a priest's retreat. Even before the 2003 World Cup, the red and black fans hated his guts, and they weren't afraid to let him know about it. He was mercurial, brilliant, irrational, made bad decisions sometimes, and he was full of flair, as opposed to the steady and reliable world-class legend that is Andrew Mertens, who in comparison has the flair of a gluten-free cracker. Now, back to the try. With all the Crusaders deflated and defeated, Carlos then decides to put on the most impressive display of big dick energy and walk while flanked by his teammates. Some of the greats of Blues rugby. Joe Rokothoko, Sam Tui Tupo, Doug Howlett, and uh, whoever that guy is in jersey number 20 to the corner post. It's basically a scene from Reservoir Dogs. It's like he's doing it to soak up the hate and the abuse from the crowd. He puts it down right next to the corner post after starting the attack with the ballsiest pass you're ever likely to see on a rugby field. At a moment when the game was on the line and he was under immense pressure in front of a mob of people that would love nothing more to see him epically fail. The fact he put it down right in the corner meant he had a tough kick from out wide and would need a conversion to deny the Crusaders a bonus point. Then, with supreme confidence, like there was never a doubt in his mind that it would go over, he bangs it over. He turns to the crowd and gives them the big fuck off. Crusaders fans amongst you, you'll be quick to remind me the massive dominance you've had over the years since this point, even before this point. The Blues, however, have eaten a lot of shit over those years and have just started to come right. But whatever you have to say, none of that changes the fact that this man from Capity who played for Auckland dared to be great and pulled it off. There's only one Carlos Spencer and he is king. If you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, give your thoughts on the matter, and tell me about your most satisfying moment in sport. Thank you so much for watching.